Hey guys, and welcome to this video on AVL tree insertion. So when inserting a value into an AVL tree, the AVL tree may become unbalanced, in which case we need to do one or more of four tree rotations, either a left rotation, a right rotation, a left right rotation, or a right left rotation. So let's go ahead and get started with the problem in this video, where we want to show the state of the AVL tree after inserting the value 71. And down below here, I have the AVL tree, which is currently balanced. I have rewritten this tree down here on this page. And this is the tree that we're going to use within this video to balance it. Now, up top, you may notice that we have something called the left right case or LR case for short, where if we have a AVL tree in this state here, the tree all the way to the left, then we can perform these two rotations here in order to get it back into a balanced state. So one thing to remember is that an AVL tree is just a self-balancing binary search tree, which means that all values that are less than the parent node's value will be inserted to the left of the parent node, and all values that are greater than or equal to the parent node's value will be inserted to the right of the parent node. So let's go ahead and insert that value 71 into our AVL tree. So first thing we need to do is check the root node's value and compare it with the value that we want to insert, which is 71. So we're checking to see if 71 is less than 100. And 71 is less than 100. So we're going to go to the left of the node that contains the value 100 and we get to the note that contains the value 50, and we check to see if 71 is less than 50, and it's not, so we're gonna go to the right of 50, and we get to the note that contains the value 75, and we check to see if 71 is less than 75, and it is, so we go to the left of 75, and we insert the value 71 into our AVL tree. Now, our AVL tree is unbalanced, and we can check this by checking the balance factor of the tree, which basically uh, is this equation here that I'm about to show you guys. It's the height of the left subtree minus the height of the right subtree. And if this value is equal to either negative 1, 0, or 1, then our tree at that state is balanced. If it's any other number than those three values, then our tree is unbalanced at that node. Okay, or you can also do the height of the right subtree minus the height of the left subtree. As long as the values equal negative one, zero, or one, then you're still good. All right, so just to show you guys that this is unbalanced, we're going to take a look at the root node and we're going to get the height of the left subtree. So the height of the left subtree is three, and the height of the right subtree is one, so we get two. So we can see that our AVL tree is unbalanced at our root node. And I'm going to get rid of those markings so we can start balancing our tree. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this tree in the same colors that I'm using for the left right case. So you can go with me and visualize what we're doing here of how we're using this method, these rotations, in order to balance our AVL tree. So first I'm going to rewrite the value 100, or the note that contains the value 100. And then we're going to rewrite 50 and 40. So 40 looks like this. All right, and don't get confused with the triangle. The triangles basically mean um, a subtree. And a subtree is one, it's really zero or more nodes. So yeah, uh, that's the best way I can explain it. It could be null, it could be one node, or it could be multiple nodes. All right. So let's go here. We're gonna keep going um, 75. And then 
we're going to have 71 here and we're going to have null I'm going to put a X for null so I don't have to write null out throughout this process and then we have 105 so this is basically how our AVL tree would look um, like in our left right case above okay so now we're going to do a left rotation so if I rewrite this tree again we get 100 and then we get 75 and then we get 50 and I'm almost running out of space all right so then we're gonna get 40 here and to the right here we get 71 and to the right here we're going to get null and then to the right here we get 105 okay All right, and last but not least, we're gonna do a right rotation. So we get 75 in our root. Then we get 50. We get uh, 100 over here. All right, and then down here, we're going to get our 40. And I'm just gonna write out all the triangles here, the subtrees. All right, now we're gonna get 40. We're going to get 71. We get null here. And then we get 105. And then that's our tree. When it's rebalanced after inserting the value 71. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.